Hello friends, in today's tutorial video, let us learn the significance of saving different versions of a product while designing. We will also explore two different methods to retrieve these saved versions. currently taking a simple part and going to name it as my product. After this, I am going to add a feature to this. I am adding the cylinder and again I am going to save this part. Now I am going to call this version as CYL. Now again I am adding one hole and going to save this version again as hole. Now some more features. I'm going to give a cut over here. So here you can see currently I have around five versions. You can see this beside the name. Now I'm going to delete this hole and this version I'm going to save as Dell hole. Let us see how to retrieve these versions. After saving six versions, I'm moving to the data panel. So here when I browse to this product, you can see I have V6. When I click on this V6, I can see all my older versions that I have saved. So I can promote any version that I want such that it becomes my latest product. That is in the version 5 I did not delete the hole. So now I'm going to make that as my latest product version. So here when I open this product now I'm going to get version 5 as my latest product. Instead of promoting, I can also open the version and see how that product looked while I saved that version. So if you see at the beginning I had only a cuboid. So when I open that, you can see how it looked when I first saved it. Now let us go to the second method. Here I am clicking on my profile and going to my hub autodesk. Let us browse to the product that we had just designed. Now when I click open, the part is being opened. And here again I can see different versions. So here again I can either promote a particular version or view that version. Watch some more tutorial videos on Fusion 360. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel.